everybody. Welcome to today's lesson on radiographic projections. This essential topic forms the foundation for understanding radiographic positioning. In this video, we'll cover appropriate medical terminology related to radiographic projections, identify routine and special radiographic projections, and discuss central ray position for various radiographic projections. Let's dive in. As you may recall from the body planes, surfaces, and landmarks lesson, anatomic position is the reference position for all planes, surfaces, and directional terms. Anatomic position is an upright position with arms slightly abducted, hands by the sides, palms forward, feet slightly apart, head directed straight ahead. This is the basis for radiographic projections. Projection is defined as the path of the central ray as it exits the tube and passes through the patient into the IR. The majority of projections are determined by entrance and exit points based on anatomic position. For example, if the central ray enters anywhere on the front, anterior, surface of the body and exits the back, posterior, surface, an AP projection is obtained, regardless of body position. Additionally, projections can be described based on the interaction between the central ray and the body as it traverses the entire body or a specific part, such as axial or tangential. Radiographic examinations are typically labeled based on their projection. Common radiographic projections include anteroposterior, or AP, posteroanterior, or PA, lateral, AP oblique, PA oblique, axial, AP axial, PA axial, AP axial oblique, and PA axial oblique. Let's take a brief look at each of these. AP, perpendicular central ray, or CR, enters the anterior surface and exits the posterior surface of the part or body. PA, perpendicular CR enters the posterior surface and exits the anterior surface of the part or body. Lateral. Perpendicular CR enters lateral surface and exits the contralateral or opposite lateral surface of the part or body. AP oblique. Perpendicular CR enters the anterior surface and exits the posterior surface of the rotated or oblique part or body. PA oblique. Perpendicular CR enters the posterior surface and exits the anterior surface of the rotated or oblique part or body. Axial. CR is angled longitudinally more than 10 degrees. In rare instances, the body part may be angled instead of the CR. AP axial. Angled CR enters the anterior surface and exits the posterior surface of the part or body. PA axial. Angled CR enters the posterior surface and exits the anterior surface of the part or body. AP axial oblique. Angled CR enters the anterior surface and exits the posterior surface of the rotated or oblique part or body. PA axial oblique. Angled CR enters the posterior surface and exits the anterior surface of the rotated or oblique part or body. There are some complex projections that are also used in radiology that technologists should be familiar with. We will group these by the most common body region for the projections. Complex projections commonly used for special views of the upper and lower limbs include axiolateral. Angled CR enters and exits the lateral surfaces of the part or body. Transthoracic. CR passes through the thorax. Tangential. CR skims the curved surface of a part to project it free of superimposition. Plantodorsal. Specific to the foot. CR enters the plantar surface and exits the dorsal surface. Dorsoplantar, specific to the foot. CR enters the dorsal surface and exits the plantar surface. Lateromedial, CR passes through a part in the lateral position, entering the lateral surface and exiting the medial surface. And mediolateral, CR passes through a part in the lateral position, entering the medial surface and exiting the lateral surface. Complex projections used commonly in headwork include axiolateral oblique. Angled CR enters and exits the lateral surfaces of a rotated or oblique part or body. Submento vertical. CR enters the inferior surface of the mandible or mentum and exits the cranial vertex. Acanthioparietal. CR enters the acanthion and exits the parietal bones. And parieto acanthial. 
CR enters the parietal bones and exits the acanthion. Tangential is also used for some images of the head, especially the zygomatic arches and mastoids. Additional complex projections include Inferosuperior. CR enters the inferior surface and exits the superior surface of the part. And superoinferior. CR enters the superior surface and exits the inferior surface of the part. These projections are commonly used for inlet or outlet views of the pelvis and the axillary region of the shoulder. And finally, craniocaudal. CR enters the cranial surface of a part and exits the caudal surface of the part. This projection is primarily used in mammography. The term true may be used by technologists in the clinical setting when referring to AP, PA, and lateral projections. This is used to indicate that the body part must be placed exactly in the anatomic position. A true AP or PA projection is obtained when the central ray is perpendicular to the coronal plane and parallel to the sagittal plane. A true lateral projection is obtained when the central ray is parallel to the coronal plane and perpendicular to the sagittal plane. So, in summary, radiographic exams are typically labeled based on their projection. The projection is defined as the path of the central ray as it exits the tube and passes through the patient into the IR. The majority of projections are determined by entrance and exit points based on anatomic position. Additionally, projections can be described based on the interaction between the central ray and the body as it traverses the entire body or a specific part. Common radiographic projections include anteroposterior or AP, posteroanterior or PA, lateral, AP oblique, PA oblique, axial, AP axial, PA axial, AP axial oblique, and PA axial oblique. Complex projections, such as the tangential submental vertical and parietoacanthial, among others, are used for specific body parts and should be well known and understood by the technologist for accurate positioning.